Dress for success. Your attire is one of the first things that an interviewer sees. And we know that first impressions are made in less than 15 seconds. So how can you guarantee that you make that positive first impression? Well, I'm here to tell you and to show you. First, why is attire even important? I'm sure many of you are thinking that. What matters is what's on the inside, right? Heck, I'm not even applying for a job at Calvin Klein. I just want to be an accountant. Well, it all comes down to perception versus reality. Here's what I mean. College is all about reality. Your grade is never contingent upon what you wear to the test. I mean, if you get all the questions right on the test, but you wore your pink pajama pants and an I'm with stupid t-shirt, you still get an A. But the real world is about perception and reality. I'm not saying it's right, but I am saying that's the way it is. If you want to make a great first impression, you need to make sure that you dress for success on a job interview, at a career fair, and even on an informational interview. Now that being said, what do you wear to make sure that you nail the perception part of the equation? For an interview, it's pretty easy. You wear a suit. Now you may be saying to yourself, Brad, the company is business casual. Don't you think I should wear that? The answer is no. If you think wearing a suit might be overkill for a certain company, check with your career center. They should have some great insight. Now, to answer the question that all of you are thinking, what kind of suit should I buy? My advice is to keep it pretty conservative when it comes to the interview suit. You want to have a dark color suit along with a pretty basic shirt. Gentlemen, when it comes time for the tie, I recommend keeping that fish tie in the closet along with your tie that, I don't know, plays Christmas carols? Women, you can wear a pantsuit or a skirt suit. Just make sure the skirt isn't too short. Remember, you're going to an interview, not to a club. Here are a few more tips to make sure you're good to go. Clean and polish your shoes. Iron your clothes. Go with a well-groomed hairstyle. Freshen your breath. But don't chew gum. Keep the cologne and perfume to a minimum. Cover up any tattoos and remove any extra piercings. Stay conservative with jewelry and accessories. Bring a pad folio or a briefcase. The key here is to not draw attention to yourself. You don't want someone to remember you as tongue stud guy or flip flop girl. You want them to remember you based on all the great stuff you said during the interview. Good luck.